Hey, what's up guys? This is Victor here and today I want to bring to you the different tiers that are available for the Cydus NFT Heroes IDO. Now, last video I talked about the Cydus program and what it's about, at least a brief summary of the metaverse and how you can get involved. However, because we have seven different platforms that are going to be offering this particular project during the IDO, which is going to happen anyway on the 15th of December 2021. There are lots of questions from folks trying to figure out which of the platforms they think will be best for them and how you can participate on either of these platforms. So here is a breakdown of the seven different platforms and maybe the minimum amount you need to participate in either one. Always not financial advice. Please endeavor to do your own research. Also, if you're new to the platform, you're welcome. Here we talk about new projects before they go mainstream. If that is something that's of interest to you, a sub will be appreciated because that's the only way I get compensated for researching and bringing this project to your attention. All right, so the way this is going to work is I'm going to show you guys the seven different platforms, the lowest amount you need for the lotteries as well as the lowest amount you need for the guaranteed slot. And then at the end, I'll give you a chart comparing every one of them together. So if you want to, if you'd rather see that chart and then what the entire video you can skip using the timestamp towards that particular portion of the video you can see the entire chart um also you can also see it on the twitter handle link is up there on the banner or in the video description go over there to the feed and you will see this chart pasted as well now the very first platform that we need to talk about is blockpad blockpad is closely tied to blocktopia and that is one exciting project that is coming up very soon as well i will do a video on blocktopia but for this particular video we are concerned with blockpad do not mistake blockpad with the k for blockpad with the c i also made that mistake in the last video um, they are two separate products they are no, no way tied to one another so make sure that if you are buying the blocktopia tokens you need to be buying the block with the k not with the c at the time of this recording the blocktopia or the block tokens is going to cost you around 12 cents and as far as the tiers are concerned we have a combination of lottery versus guarantee tiers for the lottery tiers we need to stake a minimum of 25,000 block tokens and that was going to give only 10% of the people in this tier an allocation and at the time of this recording that is going to cost you something around three thousand dollars to participate in this um, lottery tier for the guarantee tiers the minimum guarantee tier is 125,000 block and that is going to cost you something around fifteen thousand dollars for a guarantee tier on blocktopia or blockpad the next Next platform is the Ignition platform by Paid Network. Now I should have prefaced in the video by saying that there is a token generation um, vesting schedule for the Ciders program. And so if you are participating in this IDO, do know that you will get only 10% of your tokens at the token release date. And then the remaining 90% will be vested for 10 months. You get 10% every month for the next 10 months. So have that at the back of your mind. But back to the paid network, they do have a number of tiers and the minimum tier is the moon tier, which is a lottery tier and you'll be staking 1000 paid tokens to participate in this one. For the next tier, you have Galaxy, which requires you to stake at least 75,000 paid tokens and the Cosmos tier, which requires you to stake 150,000 paid tokens to be guaranteed two allocations for every single IGO. Now, at the time of this recording, the paid tokens is trading around 81 cents. And so that means for the minimum Minimum lottery you'll be spending at least $850 and for the lowest guaranteed you will be spending about $63,000 um, ish dollars for the allocation. The next platform is the Trustpad platform and here we have also lottery versus guaranteed slot. The lowest lottery requires you to stake 3000 Trustpad tokens for a 10% chance and the lowest guaranteed requires you to stake 15000 Trustpad tokens. At the time of this recording, the Trustpad token is trading around $1 so that means the lowest tier at 3000 is $3000 and the lowest guaranteed is going to be $15000 for that particular allocation on this platform. Space Warp is one of the newer platforms, not a lot of information about this one, but for you to participate in any of the IDOs that is taking place on Space Warp, you need to stake their Milk2 tokens. Now the Milk2 tokens is currently trading at $1.22 at the time of this recording, and they have, a num they have just one particular tier by which you can participate in this project. All you need to do is stake the 5,000 minimum of the Milk2 tokens, and you will qualify for a guarantee 
guaranteed allocation. Now, the way it also works is that it's dependent on the entire pool. That means that, for example, they have an example here where we have three people contributing towards a particular IGO and two of them staked 5,000 milk tokens while one person is taking 10,000 milk tokens. So based on total allocation, 100% of the state milk took tokens the first two people will get 25 percent each and while the person who has 10,000 milk took tokens is going to get 50 percent of the total supply like i mentioned earlier the price is one dollar 22 so for every five thousand you'll be spending about five thousand ish dollars to get at least one guaranteed allocation the next platform is the red kite and red kite also has a number of tiers by which you can participate but the way they have run theirs is that they allocate points for every single PKF token. So that's the Poker Foundry tokens that you stake. At the time of this recording, Poker Foundry is just trading around $2. And so we'll be multiplying that by the total number of tokens that you need to participate in each of the tiers. So the lowest allocation, which is the lottery allocation, is a Dove. And you need 500 of those tokens to get the 500 points. 500 times 2 is about $1,000 for a minimum allocation as the minimum lottery position for the lowest guaranteed slot you need to move up to the eagle which requires you to stake about forty thousand um, pkf tokens and that is also going to cost you about forty thousand um, dollars at the time of this recording the next platform is gamefi and gamefi also has um, different tiers by which you can participate at the time of this recording, GameFi is trading around $259 per token and the tiers are the Rookie, Elite, Pro and Legend. The Rookie requires you to stake 20 of the GameFi tokens, Elite is 100 and the Pro is 500. Now they are all lottery tickets so for every 20 tokens that you stake on the GameFi platform you get one additional ticket and so you can increase your chances up until you get to 100 GameFi tokens and that would increase your allocation so that's one thing that's also changing across the different platforms is by the time you get to 100 GameFi tokens your allocation increases to $300 as against $60 on the rookie and $700 on the highest tier without the NFTs the legend requires you to have the NFT card I'm not going to cover that in this video and so based on the price of the game fire tokens at the time of this recording the lowest tier or the lowest lottery tier is going to cost you somewhere around five thousand dollars for a ticket to participate in this particular one last and definitely not least is cdfi.fund which also has its own tiers and different platforms that or different tiers by which you can participate in their igo at the time of this recording cdfi is trading around 15 dollars and so when we take a look at the different tiers there are about nine of them one of them is the lottery base while the rest of them are guaranteed with different weights attached to the uh, allocations so if you take a look at what we have right now so the lowest tier which is the 250 tier is tier one is the lottery tier and then from tier two you have the guarantee tiers which requires 1000 um, s fund tokens and so for the lowest guarantee it's going to cost you fifteen thousand dollars and the lowest lottery is going to cost you about three thousand eight hundred dollars at the time of this recording and so those are all the different tiers if you take a look at the the chart that i've created here you can see all the different allocations as well as the lockup period so for block pad like i said the lowest is three thousand and the lock period is 30 days for ignition the lowest is 850 dollars for one of the lotteries and the lock up period is 10 days trust pad has 3000 as the lowest lottery 15,000 for the guaranteed i think the cheapest across board in some way is kind of swift space swap that requires 5800 for a guaranteed slot and you have i'm not sure about this lock up period but that is what i think I have seen on their website not much information like i said this platform is quite new they have seven days lock up period and um so you probably want to take a look at this chart and compare um, how long you want to lock your tokens for or do you want if you are interested in participating in several other ideas posts um sliders then it might not really matter to you you might just be interested in the lowest cost for either the lottery or for the guaranteed slot so that's all i have right now guys if i ha if you have any questions feel free to ask me if i got anything wrong or i missed out something important please draw my attention to it so that we can all be on the same page and until i catch you guys in the next one stay blessed